So I have surveyed hundreds of CEOs and said to them, how many cold calls do you take every day from a sales rep who wants to schedule your time to do a sales call or a demo? And the answer is almost always zero. And when I say how many cold emails do you get per day in your inbox? And of those, how many do you answer? What do you think they say? Zero, right? And so cold calling at the C level is absolutely futile. And yet we persist and we're measuring salespeople on these things that are virtually impossible to do. So hundred percent, you can train people on this, but still there's no, there's no way to speed up experience, right? You, you need experience. And if you talk to enough CEOs over enough years, you're going to be more comfortable talking to them. So yes, you can absolutely help them do it by giving them the opportunity to talk to these people and understand them better to shadow them hundred percent. That will help. Well, I think the best way that you can skill up relatively quickly to kind of be effective is go out and read the Wall Street Journal, go out and read the Financial Times, read The Economist, read a business journal, but read their published stuff, read something about the industry, right? right. If you're not doing that and all you're right. doing is reading about your product, you're always going to be ineffective. You've got to go out there and get that business acumen somehow, right? Like recently, Chili Piper recorded a love song to Sendoso, uh, that <laughs> On My Way, the Rusted Root song. And I reached out directly to Chris, their CEO on LinkedIn and said, hey, can we record you going on my way? And then he sent back like a one minute recording of him just saying on my way all these different times. We put it into this video. It was really funny. His head would like appear in a flower. But basically, I think once you've engaged with someone and their customers, then you draw a deeper relationship with the CEO, with the CMO, with the CRO, with the CXO, whoever your buying committee are and whoever their bosses are. Because like CEOs want to know that the teams that they're working with want to build deeper and more, more core relationships. And I love that you did your homework and knew that I was a former educator. I did. I read a lot. <laughs> I taught public school for 13 years before I went into business. Because I was a teacher. Reason. I have a master's degree in education. Yes. And it's very hard to talk to the superintendents. Um, just, I, mean, I know it's like the CEO. So I wanted to make that, um, it is. You know, we're in a, a, yes, a hundred of a different now, what is the number one way to get introduced to someone that you need to know? What is the number one way? Not cold calling. Cause that, you know, it works, but they don't, still don't know you and it's still cold. So what is it? Somebody knows in the audience it's getting a referral, getting an introduction. 